before uh, carrying out any maintenance work in compressor always uh, take some safety measures like put the compressor in manual and uh, press the emergency stop so that the compressor don't start accidentally and uh, the power breaker should be in off and do not start uh, tag should be hanged so these are all the minimum things that we have to do mandatory things that we need to do when we are doing maintenance in compressor so for this uh, we are going to do the cooler cleaning so for this uh, the thing what you need to do is you have to close the inlet and outlet valve of the cooling water now our junior engineer is opening the cooling water uh, means uh, cooler cover so as i say always whenever you work with uh, any machinery always use proper tools so now we are opening the cooler cover and we have to remove the cooler cover another important thing is before opening is just drain the water using the drain plug i forgot to show that i'll show in my next video so just we are open the cooler cover okay so next this is the cooler it's a shell and tube type cooler in my next video i will show you how to remove this uh, shell and tube side uh, cooler so you can see the black color uh, spot inside the cooler that is what you call it as a coke deposition so this is the main cause for improper uh, cooling efficiency because uh, efficiency of your uh, cooler will drop because of this kind of uh, coke deposit because what happens is this coke acts like a barrier between the air and water so that uh, proper uh, heat transfer won't happen so that is the reason we have to do the maintenance for uh, cooler according to the manual specified and also if your cooler is not performing well then again you have to do the cleaning so what we need to do is we have to open both the side of the cooler you can see here yeah, i'm little bit zooming it inside you can see one side is the cleaner one the other side you can see black color that black color is called the coke deposit which is not supposed to be so that is what we are going to clean now that is the o-ring which is on the top of the uh, cooler so how we need to do the cleaning so always uh, use a brush it should be a either brass brush or it should be a acrylic brush like uh, it should be of feather touch it should not be with the steel brush you cannot use so you can see all the tubes are completely uh, having the coke deposit on the border so what we do is first fill the fill with uh, soap water and this is the brush that we are going to use for cleaning so just you have to turn it you have to turn it in the clockwise side or anti clockwise side for clockwise side so that it will go inside the brush will go inside so what we need to do is you have to take a long rod and weld the brush with it so that you can do the cleaning for the entire tubes so that is the idea of uh, welding the brush with the help of long tube same this kind of just turn it uh, clockwise uh, you can see uh, when we are turning from the other side the brush will come to the opposite side of the cooler so when you are taking it back you should not uh, pull it you should just turn it in the anti clockwise side so that the brush will come out so this is how you have to do the cooler cleaning eh? use fresh water do not use sea water for uh, washing you can see yeah very simple when you put soap water the soap water will also uh, ease up the coke and it will helps the brush to remove the coke deposit very efficiently so you have to clean each and every tubes of this cooler this cooler hardly contains maybe uh, uh, 50 to 60 uh, cooling water tubes you can see this is how you have to do then you have to turn it in the anti clockwise side so that the cooler will 
come uh, the brush will come out very easily this is how you have to turn it out anti clockwise side you have to turn it so that the brush will come out you can see whichever uh, tubes which is cleaned is totally free of coke deposit so this is how you have to clean once the cleaning is done ensure the o-ring is in place and you have to put the cover back and tighten it properly so i believe this video must have given you some idea about how to do the cooler tubes cleaning thanks for watching thank you all